Hello. Welcome to the biography class. Today we are going to see the types of river flow. Welcome. The first flow is lamina flow, the calmest flow that exists in the river. So water flows calmly. So the main reason for this is because the channel is smooth and then when water is flowing above it, it flows uh, as layers uh, 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 like parallel to the bed. It flows parallel to the bed and uh, it doesn't cause any irregularity on the surface. So people enjoy to see it. As you can see, the sediments above it, the sediments that are being transported, they are flowing calmly. So you may wish to sit on it and uh, enjoy the lift. Uh, this is the laminar flow, you see. Water is flowing calmly. If it was possible that I may sit on it, I can enjoy the ride. <laughs> The second flow is turbulent flow. It is a flow that is associated with the up downward movement of water. As you can see, the surface of water is no longer smooth, it's now rough. So this is because the river bed it is rough, it has irregularities. So when there are some rocks, like some poles and, uh, and uh, reefers in here, water seeps in the pool and rises in the, on, on the reef. So that's why it, it appears up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And they are again associated with the eddies. So circular motion of water, if you can observe here, can see that some water is uh, some uh, water is moving in circular motion. That just because of irregularity. See here, water is rising and as it rises, some water moves in circular motion instead of just uh, having up, down, up, down movement. I think you can see it here. See the circular motions, and here you see the upward up down movement up down up down up down because of irregularity of the river channel so there it becomes a bit of a lamina and again down is turbulent as here this is turbulent so i think you still can see circular motion here see Water, some water is moving back, so that's what we call it. This is circular motion of water. The last flow in a river is called helicoidal flow, the sideway movement. So I want you to concentrate on this bank and see the movement of water. So you see. It is moving there like it is looking it looks like waves so it's like advancing 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 towards that side so the channel normally is not there uh, is not towards the the bank it's from upstream to downstream but here water is now instead of following the forward move motion it's also moving sideways so this is a result also of uh, the presence of poles and leafers 
which cause uh, instability in the flow of water. So instead of having water keeping on moving forwards, it is forced to change the direction. You understand that if there is a reef or if there is a rock here that is for, uh, that on which water is heating, then water will not only move up, but is also able to move sideways. That's why you see here, on this side of the bank, here, water is shaking, heating the bank. Observe very well. See? So this causes lateral erosion. Lateral erosion is erosion of the bank. And this is the main cause of uh, meanders. So this is what causes meanders to form because the banks keep on being eroded. As you can see here, they are being eroded. As you can see here, this has been eroded and left a cliff, you see. So it's due to helicoid flow. Observe, see. Thank you for watching, if you want more videos, subscribe.